Morning everybody. I don't feel very well today. It's gotta be said. I feel quite poorly. I kind of feel like, just like sick to like the pit of my stomach. I feel like it's probably stress. I feel like I've just been running really fucking fast and long for the past week and it's now like caught up with me. Um, but I woke up this morning and I'm like, whoa my god damn. I've got some work to do. I've got, I can't take, <laughs> can't take a day off. So um, I am pushing hard to try and get uh, these two things in, hopefully by the end of today, hopefully by mid, around midday to be honest with you. And it's like a, it's just, it's as simple as two fucking questions. Effectively, no, it's one question, but it's asked in two different, in four different places in four different ways. Um, and I've got the questions appearing as and when they should. There's like so many if statements, it's unreal, <laughs> based on data that is coming from like four or five different places. Um, I've got all the questions appearing where they should appear. I need signposting to appear based on the answer of your question to appear next. Um, oh, it's not fun. As soon as I've got that, I then need to go into the back end and fix all of the validation because the validation will be triggering in the wrong places. Because when we first delivered it, we delivered it in one way. We agreed a way that it would work and then it was like, oh no, we don't want it to work like that. But I'm hoping to get that done and then just like go to fucking bed, man. I feel cold as well, but I know I'm not. That's the worst part. <laughs> um, so, it's not going great. It's not going great for me. Sneaky advantage of this, however, is that I was... Um, I, I like started working early um, so that I can like claim that as overtime, effectively. Um, I remember me saying the other day, that I in the other video, that phase two requires me to do something in this city centre. Um, doesn't matter what time, but effectively if I can get this shit finished, and only if I can get this shit finished, um, I should be able to just bomb down into town um, and sort that shit out. But, oh my god, that's how well this goes. I'm not sure if I'm about to get a phone call for the stand-up thing. Um, I don't know. I've got the signposting done, I'm going to have myself a cup of tea. Try and wake up. One o'clock. Fucking freezing, dog. I don't even think it's that cold. What hot temperature is it? If the heating was on, it's not cold enough for the heating to kick in. And I'm like, it's so cold, god damn it. Um, it's one o'clock though, I've finished, I think I've finished. I'm deploying up the code to the development environment now to try and get some more eyes on it because there's like enough edge cases in there for it to be really fucking um, dangerous to just smash through while we're smashing everything else through. Um, so I'm just like, oh, while I'm deploying that stuff out, I'm gonna have myself some food and hopefully I can get to the point where we're like, okay, we're happy with this. Merge it, get that to pre-prod and then I can kind of like rest up a little bit. <laughs> I feel like I just wanna get in bed and just stay warm. I've had some lunch, deployed it, tested it. There's one problem with it, which I think I need to fix. Well, no, I do need to fix. Um, oh my God, but <sighs> my lord, I'm gonna have a lunch break, try and like recuperate. I might go for a little walk and get my, um, get a bit of fresh air in me. It's annoying because you get so caught up on all of the little, uh, um, edge cases. All of the thousands of different edge cases and weird scenarios that can come up that you literally forget to cater for the, the most common one. <laughs> I say forget to cater for, I mean, like, just flat out. I tried to cater for it, but the validation isn't set up right. But I didn't test it locally, did I? Because of course that would work. All sorted. Oh, I feel refreshed. I feel like I know what I've got to do. Definitely needed to head out there, though. It's got to be said. And also, I managed to get my errand run. So, we're Gucci. And there goes the day, ladies and gentlemen. We finished. We fixed the bug, I think. It's in dev. Um, assuming people oh, people have a chance to look at it. Some goddamn lights on, man. Um, yeah, so hopefully tomorrow we can do something different. Doing something different. I'm not going to do something different, no. I can tell you that for now. For free. For something free. Here you go. Free. Take it. I'm going to do the jobs that I was... I said Laura didn't have to do this morning. Because <laughs> I'm in all day. Um, I'm feeling better as well. I think that fresh air really, like, zazzed me up. Um, zazzed. I've come for another walk to uh, get out the house again and uh, to try and catch some fireworks. I just saw some and uh, obviously there aren't gonna be any there while I'm recording, are there? So, big ass dark park, let's not cut through there, Jesus Christ. I need to do quite a bit of exploring around these areas. Um, 
kind of recording just in case someone says a fireworks lol we're going to a firework display tomorrow um but yeah um being home alone all day uh laura's back now and she's doing some work downstairs and i thought i'll go for a quick half hour walk around get some fresh air because i've kind of got a bit of a stomach ache still um try and walk that off because i felt much better once i'd got some fresh air earlier and then uh get back and do a little bit of work until she finishes Whew. so yeah, that's my that's my day out my stomach is really tight feels like I was kind of like it's not a stitch because I had it before I left but it just feels like getting not very nice I love the smell of fireworks you can't really beat that this time of the year is the best time of year for like evenings and stuff because like let's be honest bonfire night shits all over Halloween it's just so much uh so much like it's nice and cold it's nice and crisp and cold it's nice and dry still and where the fuck am I for one oh no oh yeah I know where I'm um Ah, it's just got a lovely smell. I love it. It just gets better and better from here on in though, because as it gets closer to winter, it gets colder. As long as it stays dry, I don't mind. And I don't actually mind the rain that much either. Someone behind here is having a bonfire, and it smells cracking, mate. Cracking. Holy shit, it's a fucking big one as well, my lord. Laura just got clickbaited hard, <laughs> which is, we um, watched, um, watched YouTube videos. And then like it went on to just the YouTube app. I'm not deliberately not signed into the YouTube app on the TV. Um, and it's just got like trash videos. As people who, if you have a YouTube account, every now and again just log out and go to an incognito window and just have a look at what the fuck <laughs> um, YouTube looks like to normies. Anyway, so there was a video with like a thumb, it was like a thumbnail, 23 minutes long. And a thumbnail of someone no, some jeans with some like sanitary towels on the outside, on the hips. And then a photo of someone with really like exaggerated hips. She's like, what is that? I need to see that. We watched 23 minutes and it wasn't even in the fucking video. <laughs> now know like 30 different ways of doing a scarf. Putting a scarf around your head to make yourself look like a tit, uh, etc. Otherwise, Laura has watched and okayed my website. So, get it published. I guess let's get it on the fucking interwebs. Need to get it deployed out, and then I also need to look at uh, get an SSL for it, um, making sure the email thing works, and then we're Gucci. I woke up early this morning and I had a run in with trying to deploy stuff. So I've got the infrastructure, well, some of the infrastructure set up in Azure, um, and deploying it from VSTS slash Azure DevOps to Azure is really annoying. Um, it's also really annoying how they renamed. VSTS to Azure DevOps because whenever you Google things like Azure DevOps to Azure, it doesn't come up. And if you do things that are VSTS, because obviously it's just like you just search Azure twice, you dope. Um, and VSTS is all out of date, isn't it? So, word describes how I look now, boys and girls. You know what it is. It's fucking warm, boys. That's what it is. It's warm. This coat is a bloody good buy. It's so warm, and yet it's not hot, you know? And it's not heavy. Oh, love it. <laughs> Only slight downside is that logo there, but I can't see it because it's behind the like the zip for me. So loving it. That was an eye line. I think it would be slightly different. I've got a cash point in this goddamn city. I can't find one. I'm gonna see a fireworks display tonight, um, which is why I needed to dress up nice and toasty because I'm gonna be stood in a field, um, being cold. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take my nice fucking warm coat for an outing, boy. I need to spend some time today and probably tomorrow researching how to set up uh, Azure DevOps and Azure Active Directory and all that shit uh, so that I can actually deploy to the stuff I need to do without fucking up VSTS. Went out for my mid-morning, mid-afternoon lunchtime walk uh, and I do feel a bit overdressed now. This is where this falls down, this coat. It's a very much a cold weather coat. It's very hot, like 10 degrees right now, so it definitely doesn't need... I'd be fine in my other coat. I'd almost be fine in just a hoodie, to be honest with you, but not quite. Otherwise, today seems to be remarkably chill. Um, a couple of meetings this morning, and I'm just kind of, I'm testing something that isn't rushed. I'm living the dream. We see no naps, but I'm no longer, because I'm not in that at the moment, although I did get up early. Um, <laughs> no naps, but I'm not so busy at lunchtime that I can't have a full lunch break. So I'm going for a nice, long, extended walk. I had my summer just very quickly and walked out with an apple. Apples are great, man. Although, when you get soft apples, I fucking hate soft apples. We got Brayburns this week. 
because Sainsbury's has stopped selling the, the six bag of Granny Smith's for reasons I'm not sure they've run out of pink ladies. I mean, that's why they stopped selling Granny Smith's because it's a fucking uh, price hike between those two, Jesus. Um, so I had to get some Brayburns and a four pack of Granny Smith. But the Brayburns are basically like a thin layer of skin and then mush. I find these riverboat things like fascinating, but God knows I could live on one. It'd be interesting to see if uh, you could go on like a boating holiday. That might be interesting. Because then you could go and like go on the locks and shit. And you go to multiple cities. But, hmm. It's one of the big ones. And then I bet the big ones are really difficult to drive. Maybe it's just because I feel like I have an affinity with water, you know? I love the sea, I love just anything water sport related. I'm trying to develop a number of walks, so like I've got a 20 minute walk, a 30 minute walk, a brisk version of both of those two walks, and I'm trying to find like a 45 minute walk that's nice. Um, and I'm struggling, because this still hasn't been 45 minutes. I've always said probably the best thing about working in Bath, the best thing, is how small the city is. Because you can get to anything within a lunch break, and without too much effort, you can go out and have a walk in the, effectively, the countryside. Oh, no. Oh. And a train little baby swan to see how to fly. Oh, fucking hell, that is one massive ass fire. Oh no. <laughs> it's a good little out in that, but uh, fireworks are weird without music. That's just a bizarre thing, but it was also pretty good. It like pretty went pretty much overhead though. Quite a few people got like hit by stuff, effectively, which is a bit uh, dangerous, I must say. Uh, but yeah, uh, we went for. Uh, I was running late because we were hot fixing something very rapidly into production, um, and then uh, I met Laura. We went out for burgers, and then met up with Beth and Ben, and then we went up there and had a great time. Otherwise, I just came back watch The Apprentice. It's bedtime, ladies and gentlemen, it's bedtime indeed. I am very, very sleepy. But it's, it's nearly 11 o'clock. Are we waking up? Uh, no, I'm gonna, it's going to be a late night tomorrow, like a proper late night, so... No, I'm not. I'm going to have a lion. I'm going to have a lion and we'll jump back into the sleeping pattern tomorrow. Because, Sunday, because at that point, work should have calmed down enough for us to have proper lunch breaks where I can have a proper nap at a regular time again. To a sparkler party this afternoon, which is exciting. So I've just gone out and got some sparklers. Um, and otherwise I've spent nearly five hours today trying to figure out how the fuck to deploy the CDN. I'm quite aggressively fucked by the, uh, literally fucking, just absolutely fucking done for by the bloody content shit, uh, caching, uh, cause garbage. I didn't have cores set up properly, first time I hit it, and then from that point on I was fucked, basically. Obviously what the CDN does is it goes off to the data, pulls it, caches the living shit out of it. So obviously I'd have to flush the cache in order for any of the changes I make over the next five hours make any kind of fucking remote difference. It angered me when I found that out. But anyway, so now it's set up at the moment to basically not, not be there at all. I've got to try and narrow it down so it's, it's as... Um, targeted as possible as, as like open the floodgates and then narrow the floodgates you know that's what my plan is all right start getting ready tomorrow's job tomorrow's job should be do that push up the website itself get that sorted get the dns all kicked in oh it's hard work man <laughs> it's really oh, i'm so annoyed it took me about two hours to get the cdn deployed and then about another two and a half hours to try and figure out how the fuck to get the fonts to load that's a pretty good night Went for uh, drinks and a curry at uh, one of Laura's workmates' house. Pretty good. I, didn't, I literally didn't know anyone there when I got there, but I enjoyed it. So, <sighs> it was an enjoyable evening. Otherwise, I feel like I've drunk a lot of wine and it's bedtime. <sighs> After this, we're going to be getting into the work. Tomorrow, I need to get this fucking website live. God damn it. We've got the Sunday fire going and 
We figured it out this time. Last time we cocked it up, we didn't put enough logs in. This time, this beast is kicking out some heat. We went out and got out, got some more logs. We, we got some logs first as like a present and we needed to figure out how expensive they were. We needed to be like, how much are logs? And then therefore we know how much we to, to put on and all that kind of stuff. But we figured it out now, we know how, like, how to, well, we, we've done it twice. The first time it like burnt, but it wasn't like, it didn't kick out that much heat. This time we got, so, it was so warm, it was beautiful, it was almost too hot. And the trick is more, you stack it high to start with. So the first time we did it, we just put like one or two logs in there. Don't fuck about with that. Put loads in, like put like three, if you, if you think you're gonna burn three logs, Put three logs in. If you're there like, I'm gonna be here all day, like fill it basically. So you fill it, burn it, and then just drop the heat, drop the amount of oxygen going in, like as early as possible. And then it just gets like hotter and hotter and hotter. And it's great. Oh, big. I wasn't that fussed about the log burner, but I kind of feel, I'm looking forward to our weekly log burner sessions. Otherwise, we went shopping today, and I've been, we've been looking at like Christmas presents, uh, both for ourselves and for other people. Um, I'm always looking for shoes. Um, reminds me actually, I've, I've made a note of a load of stuff. <sighs> I just research. Otherwise, coming home and getting stuff deployed, I've been figuring out how to get my website deployed. I've now got it deployed. We're all good there, we're all happy about that. Um, I am just trying to figure out the SSL stuff. Um, the website is being hosted relatively on the cheap, not like massively on the cheap, but relatively on the cheap. And therefore, um, I don't have a dedicated VM and therefore I can't have a dedicated SSL certificate. Um, so I've got to go via Cloudflare um, to get my SSL. Um, I believe it's now working, but I can't tell because the DNS has been cached somewhere between me and the internet. If I go onto like an online SSL checker, it's like, yeah, that's all secure. But if I go to the website, it's like, nah, it's not secure, mate. Um, on reflection, it looks like Virgin, um, our ISP, has uh, some kind of insane DNS caching bullshit going on. <laughs> so I need to, um, and ironically, so does the mobile provider I use. Um, <laughs> but I also think that might be a fact of like, Android is also caching a load of, a load of shit as well. Um, so I need to leave the house tomorrow when I go to work, I will check it. But I believe the website is now live. It, well, it's definitely live, it's just not secure at the moment. Um, I do need to check the email. I was gonna wait till it was fully secure before I checked whether or not the email thing worked. Um, but it should, so. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to make sure everything was in place, so all's good there, guys. Which means, at some point very soon, you'll find out what it is, if that's even necessary. Is it necessary for me to tell you? Probably, we'll see. If the, the more astute of you could probably figure it out by now. Otherwise, yesterday we officially went live at work. So we're going live at the same weekend, both of us. Um, which means it's going to be a bit weird tomorrow. Don't know what to do with ourselves. <sighs> so, do we start our sleeping routine tomorrow? Or not? Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll, I think, go into it tomorrow and then we'll come back out of it on... Tuesday, sleeping properly. That sounds like I'm putting it off, but I'm not. Slept in this morning, woke up 40 minutes later than normal. Um, as did Laura, actually. So her alarm went off at six, mine was off at five past and 10 past, and then woke up at 20 to seven. So I didn't have time for a shave this morning, so that's gonna bug me all fucking day. And missed the bus by about 30 seconds. God damn. Two ones just rocked up now. Um, I'm struggling with the SSL on my website. It's kind of annoying. Um, I thought it was a DNS cache at home. Um, actually, I think I mentioned yesterday. But I've just left home and my phone still can't get that certificate. I don't know whether or not maybe the time to live for that kind of shit on a mobile device is like significantly higher. Um, I'm hoping I can just get to work and sort it. You know? But we'll see. Because otherwise I do not know what I'm going to do. Um... It's really annoying that like the price gap between a, because you can host multiple sites on one machine, I understand that, but the price gap between the infrastructure that I'm on and the infrastructure that supports SSL in built for uh, Azure is literally £40. Oh, what the car?
40 pounds a month is the difference between a custom domain, something you can have a custom domain for, and something that in, that includes SSL inbuilt. And that's insane. That, that, I feel like that's something that Azure should be like, we like kind of stand on their like morals and, uh, and be like, we believe in S like everything should be encrypted and SSL'd up to the hilt. And therefore we offer just like easy um, integration with Let's Encrypt, for example. Kind of get it to a certain extent because obviously the infrastructure that my server's running on basically disappears when no one's on the website. But I just feel like they could, they could do something about that, you know? Because 50 pounds is excessive if you only have one website that not many people are gonna go to. <laughs> I'll go, don't get me wrong, I'll go to that model when I have bigger websites, but like I say, in the future, I'll get one of those 50 things and then run four sites off of it. But and the problem is that that future is actually, unfortunately, a little bit far away. <laughs> yeah, so in short, as soon as SSL is running, um, and I know the email thing works, we can go publicly live, um, even though we're live at the moment. Um, otherwise, today, Probably gonna be a day of like, it's gonna be a weird day. Got a couple of meetings. Gotta try and like get into work again. Even though we're gonna be live, there might be bugs coming through, who knows? It's gonna be a weird day. Crew, 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 stress over. Figured out the SSL stuff, no problem. It turns out it was working all along. I just didn't have the automatic redirect to HTTPS. So I was always just hitting the HTTP bit and it was just being like, yep, you're not secure. <laughs> but if I hit HTTPS, Obviously it works, and I figured out where the setting is that says redirect HTTPS all the time. Um, so yeah. I'm now ready to rock and roll, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so I'm happy about that. Otherwise, I have, otherwise I'm currently in the middle of, um, I'm still trying to figure out phase three. I'm having problems with that. It's not something I need to do, but I'm having technical difficulties trying to get that all sorted. Um, but otherwise we're ready. It's kind of a bit daunting. I can start actually doing stuff now. That really is daunting. I need to figure out exactly my like workflow, I think. My like plan, my hit list, and start communicating. God damn it. So I need to figure out a strategy. And I, sh I sh already have a rough strategy, but I need to figure out like a play-by-play -play for each individual part of that strategy. Um, uh, bedtime, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm going to end this video here. Come back next time, boys. <sighs> we'll find out, ladies and gentlemen. We'll find out what's going on. Um, today actually wasn't a day of death by meetings. Tomorrow is. I have a five-hour meeting booked in tomorrow. Pity me. So, I've got that to look forward to. Um, what else is going on this week? Uh, this week we're going to make head roads. We're going to make roads and start communicating. Just need to do some drafting. That's all. That's all I need to do. Cool. Also, waking up early. Got a shitload of development work to do. This website took me ages to build. <laughs> Too much time out of my day. Apparently 95 hours of time I've dedicated to launching. Fuck, oh, that's a lot. I need to get these numbers down, you know. I need to get them down and make them more productive. I need to be more efficient with the hours that I throw at this shit. I needed 95 hours to make that. That is actually quite shameful. I'm going to check to make sure that's right before. Like, that drives me up the wall. But I need to open up my computer to do it and my computer's off. So I'll try and find that tomorrow. Or the next video. There's something to come back for. Is it right? Is it not?